Ooh, it's cold this morning. Ooh. But it's a nice morning, as you can see. It's uh, a bit chilly. It's a nice layer of frost there is around this morning. I think a cup of hot chocolate went sort out. But uh, I thought I'd get out early. Um, carry on what I was doing the other day, first day of the new year. And uh, hopefully, first day's going to be a good day. So, let's crack on. Right, first decent signal. I've been here about half an hour, I think. It looks to be a very old, I say that is very old, it's quite nice though, it's quite ornate and thin, it's not like your normal piece of buckle, I'm sure it's a bit of buckle, unfortunately a bit of it snapped off. That's my first decent, decent target as you can see from the coil, picking up a little bit of frost. But still, it's fine. Ground's not frozen, and the sun is just just about to come up. It's lovely, but no warmer. Fingers crossed it gets a touch warmer. Right, next up. That's the second one. Second, a decent target. Some sort of weight, uh, weight, uh, lead seal. Make out. Oh, it's got something on this side. Just can't quite make out what it says anywhere. Uh, I don't know how old it is though. I could be wrong. I thought it was old, but I'm not so sure. Still, I'll keep hold of it anyway. Just in case, but it looks to me to be fairly new. Still a lead seal of some sort though. <sighs> right. On to Okay, first coin of the day is so battered and ruined. So it's, it's fairly deep, but um, yeah, I don't know what that is. It's old, and it's very misshapen, but no clue. Hopefully, I'll find a better coin in a minute. It's been a very long time since I've had a decent signal. Yeah. Got a little key. I don't know if that's an old key. It certainly looks old. Uh, yeah, it wasn't that deep. But it's gone very, very quiet, this field, so I'm hoping get some more interesting stuff turn up or I shall be changing location. Right. Have another go. Right, finally a dateable coin. I've just given it a clean. I don't know if you can make out the date on the bottom. 1861. Uh, Victoria on that side. Young Victorian half penny. Very deep. That was uh, very deep. That was somewhere in the region of eight inches at least. That was a long way down. It's good though. Still got the big head on it. Uh, sensitivity on 20, running deep. Um, yeah, so hopefully. This will keep up. Right, I just dug this one, and it's a, I think it's an unfired musket ball. It's still got the little knobbly bit on the top. But as I was running the pro point around inside, I just dislodged. Ugh. If you can see it there, that looks like to me. Another, yep, threatening bit. Oh, that's a nice one, that is. That's got a... Uh, lovely 
condition 1937 excuse my disgusting fingernails ah uh, dear let's have a look on the should be George on that side but yeah that side is uh, pretty nice is that a good clean one again? There's two in this field. I've not found, not found one of for a long time. Last one was on the beach of all places. Uh, yeah, two so far. Wicked. Again, that was, uh, that was about five inches down. I just see it inside. Sliced it. Squashed it into the hole with a spade. Looks like a penny. But, uh, oh no, it's a sixpence, but it's got a funny colour. So, 1966, I think that said. Yep, 1966. That's a silver sixpence, but you wouldn't know it. Uh, I don't know how much silver content that one contains, but uh, it's got Elizabeth on that side, and uh, yeah, oh, that's a lovely little gas. Another nice little coin. Not that old, but I'm, I'm not fussed as long as I'm finding coins. Well, I'll just slice the uh, clod in half, and. Uh, there she is. I don't know what she is yet. It's a bit bent. Uh, yeah, not entirely sure there. I'll uh, give that a quick clean and I'll come back to that one. Uh, I've given it a bit of a clean. I don't know if it'll focus in. 1874. On there, I don't know if that's coming out. 1874. That's uh, young Victoria again. A bit ruined. You can make out bits and pieces. I think the further cleaning, yeah, it'll be a it's all right. Half penny. There we go. There's the date there. So yeah, I'm sure the rest of that will clean off. Wicked. I'm not sure what this is. I can see where they. Just separated it. Oh crap. Uh, I think could be some sort of button maybe. It's got some decoration to it though. Uh, I'm gonna give that a careful clean. I think the green the patina is coming off so I don't know if I want to clean it too much out here, but I'll have a quick look and come back. Yeah, it's too delicate really. Uh, so that bit there has got gold gilding on it. And whatever's on the inside, that's got gold gilding as well. But I think it's going to fall apart if I uh, touch it too much out here. I'll uh, do that when I get home, see if it cleans up, I'll get another picture, if not I won't. But that's, yeah. Interesting, maybe a cap of some sort, but it's got gold on the inside, so maybe it was a clasp or a brooch. We we'll see. Oh. A day has improved slightly, uh, just at the bottom of the hole there. See, uh, it's either a coin or a button. I'm going with coin just for the fact that I haven't had many buttons in this. Uh, paddock. Uh, hmm. This could be a dead coin. Uh, looks very, very crusty. But quite possibly an old George, just from the size and the thickness. I'll have a clean. Yep, yeah, that's uh, too far gone. I can't get anything on that. I'll give it one last go when they get home, but 
Oh, I can't even see a single mark on that, so... Never mind. Don't get many coins like this here, so it's good. I think, because they stopped using fertiliser. Turned it into a paddock. But they're still going to corrode, depending on the acidity of the soil anyway, so... Right, hopefully. A couple. I'm guessing that's a bit of a fork. With no prongs. Looks to be a bit of a fork. I actually thought it would be another coin. Yeah, that's a strong signal, copper signal, but no, I think that's just uh, I think I'm going to find any of the prongs in there. Not a lot of good to anyone, that is. Still, <sighs> better than rubbish. Well, I don't know what's going on today. That is one deep hole. That's a, that's a foot minimum. But, an awesome cat badge. That is the Queen's. So you just about read it. The Queen's on the bum. Kind of looks like a sheep with a hat on. Uh, I'm presuming that's a horse uh, with a flag. Yes, it's a. Uh, came out in two. But um, brilliant. That's the first, uh, first cat badge I've ever found. Yeah, the queens, I don't know if it's the queens, their rifles or the, uh, just the light infantry. I'll uh, look that up and I'll do the video, I'll, it'll post up in the corner, uh, what regiment that is. Oh, cool, it's uh, coming to the end of my day and that's, uh, that's awesome. Right, right. Right, I had this one. This sounds like, oh, this is a... When I pass my hand over the coil with my silver ring on, this is what this sounds like. I just know this noise and I know it's out. So, <coughs> I'm hoping there's something good. And it's not another tin can, because all the tin cans are they're very close to my. I wear this silver ring, but that did not sound like it. Where is it? Is it a bit of? <gasps> Ooh. Ooh. Is that a bit of is that a bottle top or is it? No. Oh, what the fudge? I can see a number seven. Oh shit. Excuse me. Didn't mean to swear. I can see a number seven peering out of that in Roman numerals. I can see a head. Oh my days. I really should clean my finger now. What have I just. It's on the other side. Oh, now that's clear. Look at that bad boy. Oh my days. Did not expect to find something like this today. And there was me thinking my cat badge would be my favourite thing today. Ooh, let me have a clean. I've got to have a little gentle clean of this. And I shall film this in a one moment when I calm down. Well, <clears throat> I wish I paid more attention in history class now. This is a awesome coin. Love it. Some of my hammers have come up really, really worn. And it's taken me a while to ID them, but by the time I get home, it's someone the sixth. Uh, I don't know who the sixth. It looks like it's been clipped around the edge. Some of the legend is missing. Um, oh yeah, lovely. Really happy with this. And that was. Look at the hole. It's what four inches? I was digging deeper Victorian coins than this. Uh, oh, amazed. Yeah, never thought I'd find a hammer in this field. It's only a tiny bit of pasture. Just goes to show. Any piece of land 
any piece of land it can have something worth digging in it. Alright, I can just see it poking out down there. Oh, this was hard to locate. Really didn't want to pinpoint. I think it's an old Tempe. Could just yeah, I think that is an old Tempe. It's not a new one. No. Old Tempe. There's Elizabeth there. I could just uh, bring it in. Yep. The date should be just behind her head. 19. Uh, where are we? 1975. Just in the corner, good day. Yeah, it's just a little bit older than me. Huh. Still, I like it. Still a good find. Won't beat the hammered, but it's still a good find. Right. Oh, that was hard work. That one. I don't know why. I better check the old before I fill it in. Well, I was walking back to the car. Well, I am walking back to the car. I always swing my machine as I go, and uh, I had to dig it. Um. Oh, I'm sure I saw a date on there, 17 something 97, I'm sure it was, but I'll have to give it a good old scrub later and maybe when it different stages are drying out, I'll see if I can get a date off it. But at the moment, it's just a green coin of greenness. So, uh, right, I think this will be my last one. And, uh, that will do. Alright, cool. It's been a brilliant day with me. Big coil tech and me. Explorer. Um, yeah, I shall get out again tomorrow before I go back to work. Uh, might try and uh, get another permission tomorrow. I'm feeling lucky.